My name is Elizabeth McHugh, endometrial cancer survivor. I have a sacred duty to share the light that I have found. Each year globally, about 14 million people learn they have cancer and 8 million people die from the disease. In the United States, nearly 2 million people are diagnosed and almost 600,000 people die. Treatments cost around $200 billion in the United States alone. Every day, almost 5,000 people enter this dark hole and we endure doctor visits, lab tests, radiation treatments, chemotherapy, home care, and more. This nightmare takes a toll on our health, our emotions, our time, our relationship, and our finances. In the United States, the typical cancer patient spends close to $100,000 yearly. Chemotherapy drugs are among the most expensive of all treatments, costing nearly $7,000 a month supposedly extended life by just a few weeks. And they call it a breakthrough. Current cancer treatments rely on chemicals and radiation, which are also cancerous and may promote recurrences and metastasis. According to the NCI, the cure rate is only about 3%, and patients survive only five years. The National Cancer Institute's $5 billion budget for 2014 all comes from taxpayers and should go to preventive education, but it does not. Recent JAMA Oncology reports that cancer in 188 countries is now the second leading cause of death. Historical statistics tell us that in the United States, about 17 million people have died from cancer and about 1.5 billion worldwide. How many people could have been saved in the past 100 years when cancer could have been prevented? The results of this lack of leadership causes millions of people to go broke after receiving this unnecessary treatment and they finally die like leading bulls in a bullfight. If Mark Zuckerberg or Bill Gates were in charge of the National Cancer Institute, they would probably have funded and supported the protocols of doctors Bodwick, Bursinski and Simoncini and all other pioneers who developed profound discoveries ending this absurdity a long time ago. Rapid spread of cancer and the high cost of cancer treatments combined with the rising rates of other chronic diseases has compromised the healthcare system and threatens the health of all people and the economic well-being of the world. Enough is enough. Changing 100 years of insanity is one of the most challenging historical undertakings. We are dealing with a lack of conscious awareness of leadership, but times have changed and thanks to the internet, Google and social media, we no longer need to wait for our leaders. We, the people, can resolve this crisis, united by sharing those profound discoveries of our bullied and silent cancer heroes, those medical pioneers that in the past have discovered different approaches to naturally curing cancer, while saving thousands of lives. The world needs to know that it's possible to reverse cancer cells into normal cells, naturally. So not, no organ needs to be removed, as has been the protocol since the 17th century. The world needs to understand that there is a more intelligent strategy and realize that Mother Nature provided miracle curing foods. The world needs to understand that some cancers multiply very fast time most of the essence because cancer doesn't wait for us to change, especially because switching lifestyles require skill and courage. The world knows that sunlight makes plants thrive. The same for humans. The power of sunlight is fundamental in recovery from any illness, especially cancer. For those who believe in a natural approach, our nonprofit organization Project for Life brings hope and help to cancer patients who are desperate to live and find themselves dying with radiation and chemo. Cancer will soon become the number one cause of death. In fact, you, me, our chances are one in four of dying from cancer. We are hoping to raise $1 million by December 2016 to build an international state-of-the-art cancer retreat in the beautiful mountains of Bucaramanga, Colombia, where I was born and the place that helped me to naturally heal. If cancer strikes, we all have to prepare with a plan. We need an affordable, safe place with 360 sunny days where you will find love and warmth. Experts will quickly help you to reverse cancer cells into normal cells. 
At this retreat, you will receive all the secrets of miracle curing protocols, combined with cutting edge treatments, making new healthy ways of living your medicine. If you are a cancer patient, sign up with us and learn how to reverse cancer cells naturally. And together, let's heal the world. Our foundation, Project for Life, is making a difference, thanks to your support. Hope without action is of little use. Dream big, act now, give hope. Hope changes everything. Your generosity will help to change the world. We are the chairs, spread the world, share the light.